Hi, I'm Tammy, and I'm going to show you how to solve a cryptogram. So a cryptogram is a single letter substitution cipher, which basically just means a code, where one letter stands for another, but a letter never stands for itself. So, for example, this Q could theoretically be any letter in the alphabet except Q. So your job is to figure out which letter it could be, and once you figure that out, you'll write it in for every instance of Q in the code. So here, there, and so on and so forth. But where do you start? So I always say start in one of two places if you can. Either single letter words or find an apostrophe and figure out what the contractions might be. We have two apostrophes here and one here. And those are going to be a really good hint. But let's start with the single letters first. K is our code letter that indicates a single letter, and there are only two single letter words in the English language, A and I. So you have about a 50-50% chance of figuring out which one is which, but this will give you a clue which one it is. Think about how many times you see the letter I with an apostrophe when you're reading a book. It comes up quite a bit. You'll see I apostrophe D, you'll see I apostrophe M, so it's very common. Now think about how many times you see A in that situation. Not much. Unless you live in California and you root for the Oakland A's, you don't really see it that often. So I'm pretty confident that K is actually I. So I'm going to go ahead and write that in above the letter all throughout the code. So now we have the I's filled in. This letter, as we talked about, can be probably D or M, but I'm not sure which one yet. I'm not ready to make a commitment, so I'm going to wait on that one. Let's instead look at this contraction. Um, this is interesting because it's a contraction with two letters, and we don't see very many of those either. We see uh, words with an apostrophe RE, or we might see a word with an apostrophe VE, or double Ls, but this is not a double L situation because these are two different letters. So we're not sure which one it is, but uh, both of them end in E. So it's likely that this M is actually an E. Now E is a very common letter to see in words. So I'm just going to scan this puzzle, see how many times M comes up, and you'll see E is a pretty good guess for M. There's a lot of them. So let's go ahead and fill that in. So now let's look at this A. When we're talking about whether it might be an RE or a VE. Let's see how many times A shows up in the code. Here, there, here. Now, think about how many times you've seen a word that begins and ends with a V. I can't think of a single one. But R, that's definitely a possibility. So I'm going to go ahead and guess R for A and fill that in. Continuing with this contraction, let's think about what this word could be. It's something with an R that's uh, switched to the end of it. Um, so it could be we are, they are, you are, and that's about all I can think of at the moment. Um, this is four letter word here, and so I'm thinking it's they. And one way I might check my work is that um, a common digraph, which is a two letter combination that you see a lot in puzzles and just in, in words in life, is TH. So I might look in this puzzle and see, are there any other words that have this GQ combination uh, that might be the or that or these or those or any form of the word there? Because that really comes up quite a bit. So let's take a look for GQ. There's one over there. And that's the only one I see. But I'm feeling pretty confident with the number of Gs that I'm seeing that this is actually there. So I'm going to fill in a T for every G, an H for every Q, and a Y for every O. OK, so now we're getting somewhere. Let's look at this word here. It's just missing one letter, and we know it's a vowel, right? Um, and we've already used I and E, so it can only be A, O, or U. So that's got to be hate, right? So let's fill in an A for every L. I hate it blank I, this is probably think, right, would you say? It could be thing, but we're expecting action after I. We want a verb. 
So uh, my guess would be, uh, think. So let's fill in an N for every C and a K for every P. All right, so now I hate it when I think. I hate it when. So I'm thinking this is W and this is N. All right, now I'm ready to revisit this uh, first contraction that we started with. We're in the present tense here. I hate it when I think. So I'm thinking this is I am. Now, let's take a look at this word. This, again, we're missing a vowel. We only have two left, O and U. So that's home. Let's take a look at this. This is some kind of a verb, right? I hate it when I think I'm doing something, right? And very common to see um, an ing in that situation when you're doing something. Um, and also I happen to see that there's a Y here and G would work with this letter. This would be get. So I'm going to go ahead and, and substitute a G for the Y's. Okay. I think we know what's going on here, right? I hate it when I think I'm buying organic vegetables. So let's fill that in. I hate it when I think I'm buying organic vegetables, but when I get home, I discover they're just regular donuts. Don't you hate it when that happens? Go out for organic vegetables and you come back with donuts? So that's how you solve a cryptogram. If you like this puzzle, you can find more in the book Twitterati Cryptograms or twitteratycryptograms.com. See you next time.